Today on The Cycle, I'm gonna break down how stupid we've become as Americans in dealing with this transgender bathroom bullshit. Uh -huh. People say they're just trying to protect the kids. Well, we're gonna find out, is the real problem this lady boy, or is it maybe former House Speaker Dennis Haster? If you're ready for rock and roll journalism, then strap on your seatbelt, crack open a cold one, and get on a rubber, boy! This one could get dirty. I'm Samson Crouppen, and this is My Daily Spin. up bill hb2 no it's not the new hybrid hummer it's the anti-lgbt law passed by the total shithead and cocksucker extraordinaire governor of north carolina mr pat mccrory no seriously hold your applause he really is a cocksucker you don't believe me let's go straight to the horse's rotten mouth so governor you must be pretty proud of yourself for passing this totally shitty bill side note is it true that you recently admitted to sucking off drifters at truck stops universities high schools and junior highs across the country that's correct with regards to rest stops on the highway with regards to universities with regard to our high schools and junior highs wow that is quite a confession. And is it also true that your college frat brothers used to call you bananas because you literally have no gag reflex? Well, first of all, I can't believe we're talking about this. <laughs> I know, can you believe we're talking about this? How embarrassing. But you say, Governor, this law is just common sense. So hypothetically, if you had some, what would be your real-time solution here? What we ought to do is for those people who have these unique gender identification issues, which I empathize with, Whoa, whoa, you empathize with these kids? Do you even know what the definition of empathy is? But what really is your fear with transgender people in the bathroom? I just don't get it. Mine is not a fear. I'm not doing it, and I don't like the rhetoric that's often used on the right saying what the fear is. Okay, my bad. Maybe it's not out of fear. Let's just call it extreme ignorance. But please, explain to me how this makes sense in your tiny little prehistoric brain that's just the size of a E, tell me. It's the basic expectation of privacy that I hear from mom and dads and families that when their daughter or son goes into a facility, a restroom, they expect people of that gender, of that uh, uh, biological sex or gender, to be the only other ones in that. So when your daughter Jenny meets Sean Stinson in the ladies' bathroom, I'm sure that's not going to be more terrifying than Lucy, who used to be Larry. But I understand why the parents are scared because everyone knows that transgender people just want to go into bathrooms to molest kids, right? Don't believe me? Well, let's listen to a credible source, Michelle Dugar. I don't believe the citizens of Fayetteville would want males with past child predator convictions that claim they are female to have a legal right to enter private areas reserved for women and girls or allow them to be traumatized by a man joining them in their private space. You mean like your child molesting son that you let into your daughter's personal space? And what's sad about this is we haven't learned anything from our past bigotry. Just listen to how similar Governor Pat McCrory sounds to Governor Barnett of Mississippi back in the 60s when asked about segregated bathrooms. Why should the uh, Negro feel any more discriminated against than the white man for associating with his own kind. White people who are segregated don't seem to resent it. And I don't think most niggers resent it. They seem to prefer that. And what's funny is how these are the people damning us to hell. Well, Michelle Dugar, I got news for you. If you really wanted to stop pedophilia, you could have started with your son. Next topic! Speaking of people going to hell, if you don't know about Dennis Hassert, let me educate you a little bit. He's the former Speaker of the House who was just sentenced to 15 months in prison for being a serial rapist. No, honey, that doesn't mean he stole cereal boxes. A serial rapist who only got 15 months. Mm -hmm. But all his GOP buddies came to his aides, I mean his aide, like Tom DeLay who had this to say about him. And I quote, So I know his heart and I've seen it up close and personal. We all have our flaws, but Dennis Hastert has very few. He is a good man that loves the Lord. He gets his integrity and values from him. He doesn't deserve what he's going through, y'all. 
I ask that you consider the man that is before you and give him leniency where you can. But the craziest thing about all of this, he isn't even being charged for molesting any kids. He's being charged for bank fraud and lying to the FBI about millions of dollars in hush money paid to keep these kids quiet. And for any of you non-believers, here's one of the victim's sisters telling about her brother's first time. When was your first same-sex experience? I mean, he just looked at me and said, it was with Dennis Hastert. Yeah, not who I would have wanted for my first time. Well, if you still need more proof because you're just a straight up prick face, well, here it is. Who do you think this creepy caller was on C-SPAN asking for Denny? Hello, Denny. Hey, how are you doing? Pretty good. Remember me from Yorkville? Bruce, you're on. Go ahead with yeah, your question. Ahead. <laughs> And this is why the system is so failed, because guys like Dennis Haster get off with 15 months. But to use Dennis Haster's word, we should put repeat child molesters into jail for the rest of their lives. Well, here's to you getting what you deserve, you fat hypocritical whore. And this whole time, I thought the GOP stood for the grand old party. It's the grand old pedophile. In conclusion, worry about your own genitals, bathroom laws are for the past, and let trans people live in peace. They just want the same rights you and I take for granted every day. All right, and if you want to worry about something, it's called Fukushima. It happened in 2011, and it's a bunch of failed nuclear reactors gushing radioactive shit into our oceans, okay? Shit and piss where you want, especially if it happens to be on Dennis Hastert's face. But kids, if you do happen to be walking by Uncle Hastert's house, please take Louis C.K.'s advice. Stay away from the child molester house. Well, folks, it's your news feed. I'm just clogging it up. And until next time, I'm Samson Krupen, and this is my Daily Spin.